Namaste and good evening. In what we have seen about Shraddha Walkar and Aftab Amin Punawala, it's a very dastardly incident which we have discussed in our last video. It is just paining me by the day as the uh, proceedings are happening in the court of law, the police investigation and the, the trials in the media. I want to go back one step and see how love happens. It is a very emotional issue for anybody in case of love. But there is an angle to it called the love jihad. The love jihad is a very uh, pre-planned activity by the perpetrators. Mostly it is the Muslim boys who wants to marry the Indian girls in the pretext of increasing their population. Does it stop there? And from where does it start? Let us see the chronology as discussed by one uh, uh, Sriman Rati Hegde, an activist from Bombay who have been counselling most of these uh, cases in Bombay jurisdiction. In one of her blogs she mentions how the gullible Hindu girls are trapped into this. Most of it happens from the school stage by their peers in the class, mostly Muslim girls. In the pretext of um, being friendly with them, they start going to their homes, mostly to the Muslim homes. They introduce to their brothers or the cousins. For second time, third time, then the freeness starts. The boys or their cousins or the, the parents of the girl start behaving with these Hindu girls in a different manner. So while, while at work, if you see, the boys come with a different disguise. The names are changed into Hindu names. And they also sport Tilak and Rakhi and, uh, and their Kadas and all that stuff. Until they trap the girl to the marriage. If it, if it were to be conducted in Arya Samad, the real name is not, is not revealed. But they have to register it with the, the register of marriages. That's the first shock to the girl who thinks that he was not what his name was. Then it, he becomes to be a Muslim. And all the trouble starts when the forcible conversion stage comes into the life of the girl. We have also seen one such case in the case of the Malaika Arora who had to quit her relationship with Shabazz Khan or whoever when they have forcibly asked her to convert into their religion. In these cases of the, at the stage of conversion, most of the girls succumb to the pressure, end up to become either a second wife or a keep or some of the girls are pushed into prostitution after that. The real trouble starts for them who resist the conversion. That's when they end up either in suitcases or in the backyard of the house. In one case, the head was chopped, the hands were cut only to take their jewelry into the account. That was somewhere in like Meerut. This is not the first case of what we are seeing in the case of Shraddha Walkar. Now, why am I talking about all this? Is only to let the parents know instead of running behind your mad money, mad name and fame into the rat race of life. I request you all to invest your time with the children who are the asset for this country, who are the asset for you and for the Sanatana Dharma as such. So dear parents, dear brothers and sisters, please understand what your girl child is going through or what your sister is going through. Give them a hearing hand. Try to understand what they are doing, how they are doing. And what are the 
the changes in their behavior patterns nothing wrong to see whom they are meeting whom they are whom their friends are a stitch in time saves nine better save the girl than to cry after the after the math in the last few weeks we have heard reports from the press and the media electronic media as well about the gang rapes and the heinous crimes of putting iron rods in the private body of the girl after they have satisfied their lust and the heinous crime that they do even when they are at the age of 14 or 15 or or below 18 boys who who take the pretext of the the juvenile justice i would say when the boy knows about the private parts of the girl he is no more a juvenile he should be tested as a adult he should not be given any concessions in this case of shraddha walkar and amit aftab amin puna wala i request all of you to press for the severest punishment not just hanging of death hanging uh, the death by hanging the the punishment should be the uh, at the earliest it should not take 4 years or 5 years it should desist others from doing such heinous crimes this is not only agony this is also a course correction for all of us to understand the deceit that these girls are going through as i said even at the age of 50 you cannot take a decision fully without the help of your friends and consultants or relatives so why leave the girl when she says i know everything try to confide with them try to uh, give some uh, consultations a stitch in nine a stitch in time saves nine if this is the first time you are listening to satya bhashyam i request you to subscribe if you have understood this or like this like share the video to others and prevent any further heinous crimes on the girls or the rape cases so i request you to kindly subscribe to satya bhashyam i remain till the next video ram babu cheru hyderabad